guys, welcome to the kitchen. It's Penguin and Chef. Hello. Hi guys, this is just a last minute video. Um, I have to use up the rest of my tart dough. And um, I thought, well, Chef wanted some strawberry tarts, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some strawberry cream cheese ones. And in case any of you would be interested in that, um, I'm just gonna show you what I do. Now you can, I'll link my video for um, making the butter tarts and my pastry to this video. Um, the only difference is, is when you make the pastry, um, you can either leave the brown sugar in or omit the brown sugar. So um, in that video, I show rolling out my dough and cutting it and getting it into the muffin tin. But so you guys don't have to see that again, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. And when I'm ready to mix up my filling and put them together, then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, we got our tart pastry shells all put in here. I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator to let them chill. Okay guys, if you hear noise in the background, it's just me and Chef, he's working on one thing, I'm working on another. Um, so this is real quick and simple. <clears throat> like I said, you can make the pastry dough ahead of time, put it in the freezer, put it in the fridge, <clears throat> take it out. Um, it doesn't get so, if, if you leave it in the refrigerator, you can leave it in there for like five days or so and it'll be fine. It doesn't get so hard that you can't immediately pull it out and work on it. Obviously, if you freeze it, then you need to take it out and thaw it out. We just wanted something quick and simple tonight, and I was gonna do mincemeat tarts. Chef wanted some strawberry, so I said, well, we'll just make strawberry cream cheese. What? Yeah. Chef's baking some uh, already made cookies over on the side too. Um, anyway, so I had some cream cheese that I needed to use up, and Chef bought this. Um, it's just fruit spread he got from the Dollar Tree. Quarter. Yeah, it was a quarter. Um, he bought three things of it, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. It should work out just fine. But in here I have just about eight ounces of cream cheese, maybe a little bit over that. And sorry about the poor babies barking, they're playing. The one that's barking is our little one that's been taking treatment, so... They're having fun. We were kind of hoping that we would get a little snow. They were talking about it, but looks like we're just not going to. We may get a dusting, but <clears throat> we're not going to get much more than that. Anyway, so I put a teaspoon of vanilla extract into this. And I'm also going to put about just about a half a cup of powdered sugar. It doesn't need to be super sweet. So if any of you are like you don't like super sweet desserts, then this would probably be something that that you would like a lot more. And I'm just gonna take my whisk, I've already softened my cream cheese. I'm just gonna take my whisk and work this around a little bit and um, get it all mixed up in the bowl. And when I get it all mixed up, I'll bring you guys back. You can use a hand beater if you want to. Hey guys, we have some of these that came out of our advent calendar. Um, last year and they're still good. These things last for a long time. This stuff tastes more like strawberry jello than it does actually in strawberry jam or anything like that. It's not bad. No, it's not terrible, but we're going to just do a little bit of tweaking. So baking, I don't think it's um, that great. We're going to use some of this and chefs going through and finding um, some of these that have strawberry in them. And we're gonna just mix it together and then we may even use some of our other ones of these. Just make some different flavored tarts. It's a Friday night, why not have a little fun? As Soon as we get it all figured out though, we'll be back. Okay guys, so we couldn't find everything that we were looking for. So we decided we're just gonna make this a mixed berry because we're opting not to really use much of this stuff right here. So we used um, a strawberry red currant of the bone maman and um this is a blueberry black currant we're using that and we're also going to be using some seedless red raspberry that fruit spread though thinking about it like i said it's not bad tasting it's just a little jello like yeah spreading it on toast would be fine you know what it'd be good for oatmeal yeah it'd be good in oatmeal mixing in your oatmeal so i put the fruit spreads already in here and I'm just going to add some of this to it and mix it together. Okay, guys, there's all of our jams mixed together. So it's just going to be like a mixed berry. We're going to be mixed berry and cream cheese tarts. Okay, so Chef took my tart shells out of the refrigerator for me. I've got my cream cheese mixture all mixed up here in, the, in this bowl. Like I said, this is just a quick and simple dessert, just of stuff that you have. We had some cream cheese that we needed to use up and stuff. 
So we're just throwing it all together. So to go through and fill these real quick, I'm going to use my trusty old cookie scoop. And then once I get them filled, then I'll go back and I'll go back and spread them out some. But that'll give just the perfect amount of cream cheese mixture in the bottom because we want to have room for our strawberry filling. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to go through and fill the rest of these off camera. And when I get ready to do the toppings, then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, as you can see, I've got my scooper full of the cream cheese mixture in there. And I just took a spoon and went along and just kind of spread it out some. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every one. And I'm just going to put in some of our fruit topping and spread it out a little bit. To where it, when it's all done, it'll be about three quarters of the way full. I may have to mix up some more of my fruit spread. And then I'm going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees when Chef gets done baking his cookies. I just did. Okay. So he's got it on 400 degrees. And these are probably going to bake about 20 minutes. Um, I'll just keep an eye on them, make sure that the crust doesn't get too overdone as we're going along. Like I said, it's just using what we have that needed to be used and um, making a dessert to last for a few days. And again, like I said, I will put a link to our butter tarts video on so you can see how I make my pastry for these tarts. I'm going to have to make up some more mix, but that's what I've got going on and I'll be back. Okay, there you go guys. We've got them all filled now. So I'm going to stick these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And I'll just keep an eye on my crust. And I actually mixed some of the black or some of the red raspberry with some of the strawberry. And it actually did taste very good mixed together like that. So anyway, we'll see you guys when they're done. Okay guys, there you go. There is our fixed berry cream cheese tarts. I didn't have any Cool Whip or Ready Whip because this would be great for like a Valentine's treat. Put a little bit of Cool Whip on it, a fresh strawberry or some fresh berries. Would be really great, but I didn't have anything like that to make them purtiful, but whoopsie. You can see <laughs> that's what they look like right there. So we just dusted them with a little powdered sugar. I'm going to cut this one open. And I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. I just want to cut open the inside and show you these are still hot. But there's your cream cheese and your berries. See how the berries kind of soak down into the cream cheese? So, very good. <laughs> um, we're not going to taste test because we're getting ready to eat dinner. But, well, I guess I can. You got 30 seconds for the pizza done. <laughs> hot, hot. Yeah, hot, hot. Mm -mm -mm. Good and creamy, guys. Just another alternative if you don't like butter tart and you want something that's not as sweet. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.